Good morning, I'm Gina. Welcome to week three of National Quilting Month at Kingdom Sewing. We are excited to be showing you today some more fantastic quilting machines, as well as some feet and accessories for free motion stitching. I'm gonna do some demoing for you today and we'll talk about some of the different feet and accessories that are gonna help you perfect your free motion stitching. But first of all, let's take a look at the Janome M7. Some of you may have seen our YouTube video on this machine with Tim face right here in the middle. Oh, looks like we're a little dark here. Let me touch the screen. Then you can see our fantastic LED lighting on this 13 inch bed. You can see this is one of Janome's uh, professional model machines. That's all metal, flat bed, very heavy duty machine. It's got a one touch plate removal. So super simple to get that plate off. No screws to uh, undo. It comes also with the uh, standard straight stitch plate as well as the HP or professional straight stitch plate, which is a left position. So uh, really easy to get those perfect stitches when you wanna do your piecing or free motion stitching. Also changing out that plate to a straight stitch plate is gonna help you uh, with your free motion so that you don't have to make quite so much of a tension adjustment when you're doing your free motion stitching. So you'll see in the back here, we've got the big cone stand so we can put larger spools of thread if we want on the machine there. You'll notice that on this machine the screen is more towards the center. So this is a very long machine and normally we sit directly in front of the needle here. Um, and that would be kind of a long distance to be looking at your screen on the side. So they've moved that screen over so it's a little bit closer to where you're actually going to be focusing as you're stitching. We've got that nice big stop and start button there with the green light telling us that we're good to go. Fantastic one touch needle threader on this machine. One of the really cool things about this machine, the M7, is that uh, when, the, when you raise your presser foot up to move your fabric around, the feet dogs drop down. So it's not going to be snagging your fabric as you're trying to move it through the machine and get it positioned for your free motion or your quilting, whatever you happen to be stitching at the moment. It's got the needle down pivot feature where when we uh, have the needle stopping in the down position, when we take our foot off the pedal, the presser foot pops up just slightly so that it's easy for us to turn corners or, or make changes in direction as we're stitching. So that's your, your pivot feature there. You can customize this machine. It has um, customizable stitch settings for each of your stitches. So if uh, the default on the stitch, say we have right now our 2.2 stitch length, if you prefer to use a 2.0 or a 1.8 stitch length for your piecing, you can go ahead and make those changes on the machine and save them to the machine. So every time you are ready to use that stitch, it's set up the way that you like to use it. You can um, program in your, your stitch length needle position, stitch width, your tension, and your presser foot pressure. So you can get the machine set up to do exactly what you want it to do for the best results. So really awesome machine here. Tim, am I forgetting anything on this that we really need to tell people about? Uh, this has the AccuFeed system, so the true dual feed. Right, so let's take a look over here at some of the feet that I have set up. So. We have our quarter inch foot here for this machine. I'm going to bring it over here. Maybe you can see a little better. It's got that wide opening so that you can do a scant quarter inch, move your needle position just a little bit if you need to do that. We've also got our open toe foot here, which is great for doing your applique work and things where you want to get a good view of right where that needle is going to land. We also have, as Tim mentioned, the dual feed, the AccuFeed. This is your walking foot plugs into the back of the machine so that is able to be adjusted. So if you're still having some slippage or things still aren't coming out even, you can adjust that foot. And it does come with interchangeable soles. We talked a little bit about that last week. Um, so you have a quarter inch ditch open toe for that. It also comes with a variety of free motion feet. Angel will be with you in just a bit now. We, okay. have, we have our free motion foot here. This happens to be an open toe variety. So this is a more standard one. This machine is also going to come with your ruler foot. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. I'm going to demo that a little bit for you. So this comes with this machine. We also have some great little uh, free motion feet. These are snap-on feet. So nice and small. You can see they're clear. Uh, so they, they are out of your way as you're stitching. We have a closed toe, we have an open toe, and this is a really nice wide one. So if you use a zigzag stitch to do thread painting or something like that, this is a really handy, uh, handy foot for those types of stitches. So 
So awesome machine. We really love this machine. This is the Continental M7. We've got special deals for National Quilting Month, so you'll want to call us and, and we can talk price on that one if this interests you. It's a really wonderful quilting machine. So we're going to take a quick walk on over to another machine. Angel. Go ahead. All right, We're getting a little busy here at Kingdom this morning. All righty, come on this way, Tim. I'm going to show you some free motion stitching. We're going to be working with some um, different uh, notions and accessories that you can use for your free motion that'll give you um, a lot of help. So I'm working here on the Janome 6700 machine. This is again one of those nice flatbed machines. See, it's got that all metal. This one has a 10 inch opening, so it's a sister of the, of the M7 Continental. I've got my sew slip um, that I'm laying down here. I just went and rinsed this one off so it's nice and sticky. This has kind of a gummy back on it um, so that it'll stick down to your surface. This is going to give us the ability to slide. It makes our fabric slide more easily. Um, that's a coated sheet there that we can put down. Um, and I have it on top of the Sew Steady Free Motion Table. So you'll notice that um, I'm going to be sitting at this end of the machine here. The, the, the extension table is made wide side to side and so it gives us a different orientation for our machine so that we have more room to move our hands around for our free motion quilting. So this is one of the options from Sew Steady uh, if you do a lot of free motion stitching. And this can be really give you give you much bigger space to work better control of your fabric here. I'm going to put on my quilting gloves here. I find that these are really really helpful. They um, have rubberized tips, and this is going to help us hold on to our fabric a little better. Now you'll notice that I have that fr that uh, ruler foot, free motion ruler foot on the machine. Um, and, and these feet are specific for machines. So this is a Janome ruler foot. Baby Lock also makes ruler feet. We can give you a quick look at those. This is one that comes in a set with some different toes. Um, this is a basic one here. I've got the Janome on the machine there. We also carry the Westerly ruler foot. Now this is good for um, those of you that have other machines, maybe you have a Viking, a Foth. Um, and so Westerly ruler feet, um, we, have, we carry those for all of those other different brands that you may have. The Westerly ruler foot also comes with a nice arc template here. And uh, that looks like this. So I've put a handle on this uh, one. Those two going out? Um, and you can see this is going to help me to hold on to that a little bit better. On the back side of my ruler I have some, I don't know if you can... I don't have anything dark to put behind there. Let me see if we do that. Can you maybe see here? I've yeah. got some grip tape there. That's like a little bit of sandpaper on it and that's going to help us keep the ruler on the fabric so that it doesn't slip slide around as we're stitching. Now our different rulers and templates come individually or in sets. I've got a whole set here from Westerly, which is made by Sew Steady, so this is the same great quality acrylic that they use in their tables. So we've got a lot of different templates here that come in that starter set. We also carry these uh, PARS rulers, which are really nice because you'll notice that the, the foot is going to be enclosed in here. Um, so there's no chance that I'm going to veer off to the side. Um, there are also, it's a little hard to see because there's a film on here, but there are also some marks so that you can line up your first row of stitching a ring. for a second row. So let me show you a little bit about how this works. And you'll have to excuse us talking back and forth here. You can hear our phones are ringing. We've got customers coming in. It's a great busy day. Great busy St. Patrick's Day here at Kingdom Sewing. Alrighty, so let me do a little, get a little bit going here. Pull up my bobbin thread underneath there. I always want to do that so that it doesn't tangle underneath. Alright, so let me get started here quickly. Let's slow down my machine a little bit. It's good to get at a comfortable speed. Let's see here. Want to be sure you put your presser foot down when you're doing your free motion work. And I'm going to reduce my foot pressure just a little bit there. Are the feet dogs down, Tim? I think I dropped them. Yeah, they are. Alrighty, there we go. My foot's too high. 
Alrighty, so the way these rulers work is that let's say I wanted to do a straight line here. I'm going to be able to just follow right along the edge of that template until I get where I need to go. Then I can move a little bit more if I wanted to continue on. I'm going to come back this way a little bit. You'll see this is going to give me a nice straight line. Now I'm going to back up just a little bit so that you can see these have a lot of nice marks on them. So if I jump back here just a couple of stitches, I can line up my previous row of stitching with the mark on the ruler and then I can do another row. And then we can back up again a little bit. And I can go. So this is a really nice way to get evenly spaced lines, shapes, what have you. Oops, got a little off there. That's because I'm working behind. Normally I'd be working in front, but because of our camera angle here, we have to do that a little bit. As I said, this has an arc shape on it as well. So we could do arc shapes and it's got the, the lines on it so that you can line up your next rows however um, far apart you like them to be for different spacing. So let me show you one of these other templates. These are really nice because they, um, they have these little puzzle pieces. This one's in here a little tight. There we go. So you can see it's got a little puzzle piece that opens up. This allows us to slide our foot inside and then we can close it up so we have a nice enclosed space. And I'm going to move down a little bit here so that I can get away from my previous stitching there. So this gives us a nice enclosed space so that we can be sure that we're not going to run off the edge of our template again. And these are set up so that they have um, you can pivot on different points and make um, different motifs or shapes. So with this one, I'm going to go around and continue on. And it's keeping me right inside the shape there. And then when I get to this point, I can pivot and do my next shape. to do these flower motifs with some meandering in between and then I could move this around so you can see what happens is I end up getting sort of a flower effect so we'll bring this around over here and then we could do our next shape you'll notice I'm not stitching too terribly fast you don't need to you just want to keep in mind that you're, you're moving your um, fabric a little faster than your machine so that you're not going to, or I'm sorry, your machine a little faster than your, than your fabric so that you're not going to break your needle. So take that off so I can get it out and then you can see how it, if we continue on around we'll have sort of a star or a flower shape there. So these can be a lot of fun if you're really not too sure about your free motion skills, you're not comfortable with it. Um, these can give you a lot of help in getting a more professional look to your free motion quilting. Uh, one thing I want to mention to you, we have coming up, this is really exciting. We're doing a virtual event with So Steady and Westerly. Um, that is going to be Friday, May 21st from 10 o'clock until 12 o'clock. This is a free two-hour class. All you have to do is sign up on our website at kingdomsewing.com. Take a look at our calendar in May and you'll see it there. Um, so it's a free class for two hours. They're going to be demonstrating and teaching you how to use these rulers and templates. Um, they're going to be covering basics and they're also going to show you how to do feathers, which is really fun um, technique to watch. But you don't need to have any supplies for this class if you already have a ruler, feet, and template. Templates you can um, stitch along if you like or you can just watch the class. They will have discount pricing on all the products that they um, are featuring in the class. So if, if you really love this you, and you decide that you want to go ahead and invest, um, we'll have some sale pricing on all of the um, items, your feet and your rulers and templates that they're going to be demonstrating there. 
It's going to be a really fun class too. We're going to have a lot of fun. There's going to be some giveaways. So um, be sure to join us for that. Like I said, it's free. Why not? Um, sign up on our website at kingdomsewing.com. So now we're going to do a little bit of a switcheroo here. This is a little different for us. I'm going to sneak off my microphone here and I'm going to trade places with Tim because he's going to show you another fantastic sewing machine. All righty. There we go. Let me walk around behind so that you can get a nice look at our Janome. Talking Janome M7 content. Or, uh, I'm sorry, wrong machine. We already did that one. This is the <coughs> Janome Skyline S7. Yes, this is the Janome Skyline 7. We're just going to touch on some high points of this machine here. I'm going to reach down here and just so you can see solid one piece metal machine, which is very rare that you're going to find. So, quality is what we always want price, a reliability, and that's what Janome's always had the three pillars on there. But we'll talk about some features here. Uh, we'll lift this up. All the threading is now covered, so when you're not sewing, the dust is not getting in there with your attachments. You also have attachments tray here and also in the back little cubby hole, but the ones you use most often you could use right up in here. Tim, excuse me, let's just mention real, real quick. Folks, you might notice that we're getting a little bit of um, a flickering on the screen. That's just an effect of the camera. You yeah. can see that on it, the actual machine itself. Me looking at it, yet yeah, it is not flickering, but yes, the camera there. So you do have lettering, so if you want to name or date something, you have that capability. A lot of decorative stitches, and most machines, the width is a six millimeters or seven. This is nine millimeters, so uh, about a third larger. Uh, decorative stitches and letters there. So we'll shut that. Uh, we're going to uh, talk about uh, you have your normal zigzag plate, but when you're doing your quilting, you want to stabilize the fabric just a little bit more. So I'm going to hold that and you could uh, um, focus on it there. You're going to see that the right side actually has a little bit larger hole than the center, and that's allowing you to get that perfect quarter inch the way you want it not the way the machine has it there. So if you want a scant quarter inch, a hair less, a hair more, right on that line of a quarter inch, you now have that capability. You also have the capability of memorizing that position, memorizing the stitch length, and it's not buried into a memory, you've changed the default of the stitch. It's called favorite stitch now. Uh, so very simple to do, we'll, we'll show you all that there. This needle plate will simply just snap in, so no more screws on screwing on the uh, needle plate to the machine. Simply comes off, so easy to clean, easy to switch there. Gina just mentioned the AccuFeed foot for the M7. The same thing with the Skyline S6, and we also have the Skyline S, excuse me, same for the S6 and for the Skyline S7 there. So this is linked to the machine, to the mechanical motion of the machine. So when the feed teeth are moving at two millimeters or 2.5, then this is linked on the top and it truly is grabbing the top fabric and advancing it through the system. All other machines that have a press foot on top, we're hoping and praying that the top fabric will advance when the bottom feed dogs are only advancing the bottom fabric. But when we add this to the top, it's truly grabbing the fabric and pulling it through the system. So Janome calls this an AccuFeed system, but it, we call it a, a true dual feed system there. We're gonna um, talk now about uh, what's called needle down pivot. I have the capability of using the knee lift to lower the presser foot. Or if I don't want to use the knee lift, I could actually just push the foot up and down, just like the M7 there. Uh, we have selected a little button here um, that now is kind of an orange color. So if we use the foot control, I, I can't reach the foot control, so I'm gonna use the start stop button. As we start sewing here, and if I'm doing an applique or just pivoting, whenever I stop, you will notice that the foot now comes off of the fabric, so you could do just a few degree pivot on applique or a 90 degree pivot um, on, on a lot of pivoting there. I have that capability just simply by programming that in. Let's so see that again, Tim. Push the start button, foot comes down. You will sew when you stop. The foot comes up and now you can pivot a few degrees or 90 degrees or whatever you're doing there. This machine does have what's called the thread cutter. So we've just cut the thread and the presser foot automatically came up. We have a clean finish right there. 
We're going to um, actually speed the machine up a little bit here to show you a little secret feature that Janome has that actually nobody out there has. We're going to go full speed. So if you're not, if you're using your, not using your foot control, you're using your stop button. Sometimes on a big garment when I'm moving around or if you're doing free motion, um, when you touch the start button, the machine takes off real fast. So when you come to the end, then you have to really touch it quickly there. This is an exclusive with all Janome machines. It's called a slow start and a slow stop. So I'm going to hold this button down. So if I'm in a real critical area, it will so slow till I'm out of it. Touch that on, we'll go to the speed. When you get to the end, you could slow it down a little bit before and stop it dead on the end right there. So that's called a slow start and a slow stop. That's an exclusive by Janome. Great feature there. Just came out again a clean finish right on the edge there. If you're doing that delicate and you want that precision applique, precision stitch in the ditch, precision 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, this is an option, but it's a great option there. Uh, this is a magnifier, so when we're looking down on a on a project, we're all losing our eyesight. We just want that little edge more. Uh, we want that better looking stitch. Then we have the magnifier. When I need it, I could retract out of the way when I don't need it, bring it back. If I need to move it off for whatever reason, it comes off like that. So that is the Janome Skyline S7. We actually have them on sale. Come in and talk to Gina or myself at Kingdom Sewing in Simi Valley. Our, our number is 805-579-1571. Thank you. Bye. So let's just mention to everybody that um, we'll be meeting again next week, Thursday at 1030. So be sure to tune in then. See you then. Bye.